Good morning children. Welcome back after a long interval. So hope that you all are keeping fine. So today we will be starting a new lesson chapter 3 human reproduction. You know human beings are unisexual and we possess sexual dimorphism. Unisexual means each one possess only one either male or uh, female sex organs and sexual dimorphism means male and females are distinguished if it is visible or it is externally it is they are we are distinguished and uh, first of all we will start with the male reproductive system so male reproductive system consists of a pair of testes accessory ducts glands and external genitalia testes is located outside the abdominal cavity within a pouch that is known as scrotum. Function of scrotum is to maintain a lower temperature that is 2 to 3 degrees Celsius lower than the normal internal body temperature. It is necessary for spermatogenesis. Now we are going to start or we are going to learn the internal structure of our testis. That is very very important. Diagram is also important. Structure is also important. So, testis is an oval structure. Outside it is covered by means of a fibrous layer or fibrous capsule. That fibrous capsule is known as tunica albuginea. So, it function of tunica albuginea is protective in function. This tunica albuginea shows internally foldings in foldings these in uh, in foldings so these all are the in foldings and this in folding produces number of septa or locules then outer than outer this tunica albuginea another one layer is also present that layer is known as Tunica vaginalis. So, tunica vaginalis is this one. This layer is known as tunica vaginalis. Okay. And this one, the septa. The infoldings of tunica albuginea separate number of septum or locules. And each locule, there you can see inside this compartment, or tubules, there are coiled structures, coiled tubes, that is tubules, this is known as seminiferous tubules, these coiled structures are known as seminiferous tubules. So, each locule, there is near about 2 to 3 seminiferous tubules are there. So, these seminiferous tubules are coiled in nature here and when it move to this side, it is straightens, straightens and join each uh, straightened portions joins to form a network of structure that is known as rete testis and rete testis join to form a network of tubules that is known as vasa efferentia vasa efferentia again go and uh, it join to form here a complex structure that form the epididymis so here when you take the section cross section of testes we will see this structure so this is when we take the section of testes number of lobules will be embedded in a connective tissue that is interstitial connective tissue these all are the this one these daughter structures are the interstitial connective connective tissue and there number of lobules seminiferous tubules this one and the seminiferous tubule there it is formed of lining of the seminiferous tubule is known as the germinal epithelial cell and this germinal epithelial cells are of two types namely cuboidal cells and a conical shaped cell you can see some of the germinal epithelial cells are cuboid that is known as the germ cells or it is actually the uh, spermatogonia from where the sperms are produced and this conical shaped or pyramid type of cell 
is also present here. This pyramid, uh, conical shaped or pyramid type of cells are said to be Sertoli cells that is known as Sertoli cells. They are also known as nerve cells. Why? Because they provide nourishment to the developing sperms. So Sertoli cells are also known as nerve cells, these pyramid cells. They are not taking part in the formation of sperms. Okay. So in this interstitial connective tissue, we can also see some of the mass of cells and these mass of cells are known as Leydig cells or interstitial cells. They are known as Leydig cells or interstitial cells and main function of Leydig cells or interstitial cell is to produce male hormone that is testosterone is produced by from the Leydig cells or interstitial cells. So human testes perform performs two functions namely production of sperm and production of testosterone. These are the two functions this internal structure and the cross section etc are very important. So go through this video thoroughly. Okay.